Prisma version 6.2 just landed. Let's check out four of the features in this release that you might be interested in. The first one has to do with SQLite. So if you've used SQLite with Prisma before, you know you couldn't really do enums. Now you can. Enum role, for example, and let's do admin and user, can be applied directly to our other models. So we got a role there. All of that is sound now in SQLite. We can also do JSON fields. So we might have a JSON field called data like this, and that is completely valid now in SQLite as well, whereas it was not before. Sticking with our schema here, we've now got support for something called the universally unique lexicographically sortable identifier. This is a bit of a replacement for UUIDs, for example. It has some features that are nicer than UUIDs, so you might want to opt into this. So if we had another model here, for example, perhaps a post model, and we have our typical ID, which is a string value, that's the ID field, and we want to default to something auto-generated, we can use ULID now. And the values that we're going to get out of this look like this. We have got a 26 character long string, and it's got some nice features that can be a little bit better than UUIDs. Next up, we have got support for a new method that is called update many and return update many and return is going to update the records that we're targeting and return those values as well. If we just use the update many method like this, we'll just get a count of the number of fields that have been affected instead of the actual values that have been changed. This complements the create many and return method that was introduced at the last release. Finally, some good news for those using the omit API. It's no longer a preview feature. It is now considered stable. So for example, if you used to opt into the omit API with a preview feature, omit API like VAS, you'll notice now that it's no longer needed as a preview feature. Preview feature omit API is deprecated. And that means that you can go ahead and remove it from your client definition here, and you can continue to use it as you typically would. So for example, if we're doing find many, and we're wanting to omit certain fields, so we can omit the password, for example. That's it to cover at this release. Let us know what your favorite new feature is.